This is Ms. Melton to teach you about decimals. So these are base 10 blocks and normally you would say this is one flat which equals a hundred. Each of these is a flat which we know 10 rods makes a hundred and a hundred ones. These little units make a hundred. But now think back to fractions. This we're going to say is a whole and we can break the whole into 10 parts. So each of these, this equals 1 tenth. And this is 1 out of 100. So when we use fractions, we can also, if it ends in 100, if the denominator is 100 or 10, we can say it's a decimal. So this written as a decimal would be 0 0.1 because it is 1 tenth. This is where we put the tenths at. One rod is a tenth, and this is one hundredth. We put a zero decimal, zero one. You can think of it like money. This is um, a whole is a dollar. Ten dimes equals a dollar. So one dime, when we write it as cents, would be ten cents like this. This is the same point one as point one zero, ten cents. And this is a hundredth is like one penny, so we write it 0 0.01. So, again, this is now a, called a whole. We're going to call for decimals a flat is now a whole, not a one hundredth. And we can do some practice with tenths and hundredths. So, you try this on your own. I'm going to highlight a section. Oh, it's not a great color. Okay, let's see. So if I highlight this, what, how would I write this as a decimal? So if you see, I have one, two, three, four, I'll write two, three, four, five, six out of 10. So that's six tenths. And we write that as a decimal, we write 0 0.6. The six goes right behind the decimal because it's like having six dimes. It's close to a dollar. Now, this time, I'm going to write a decimal, 0 0.3. And I want you to think, how many rows, rods, should I color in to make 0 0.3? And I need to color in one-tenth, two-tenth. 3 tenths, so 3 rods would equal 0 0.3. And I can write that as a fraction, 3 tenths, and as a decimal. Now, let's try, you try one. Think about how many I would need to shade in for 0.9. So you can pause the video and think about it, and then I'll tell you the answer. So 9 tenths would be 9 rods, which is all but one of them shade it in. Let's see. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to shade it in and you guess what the decimal is. So how would I write this as a decimal? Think about it. It's a little tricky. And pause your video if you need to think about it some more. The answer is you. this is one whole. So it would be 1.0. Or if you were writing as a fraction, 10 tenths equals one whole. Let's try one more. I'm going to shade in and you tell me what the decimal would be. All right, if you said 0 0.8, you are correct. It is 8 tenths. We, and we say tenths, make sure you say the TH, eight tenths. Now you can think of what the last one might be if you want to draw one on your own as an example. Now these are hundredths. So instead of, there's still 10 rows, 10 rods, but each rod is split up into 10 parts. So now we have 10 rows of 10, which is 100. So if I were to shade in one row, that is one tenth, but I also say it's 10 out of 100. So I write it as a decimal, it's 10 hundredths. Now let's try, I can also go 
this way across. Let's see, what would that decimal be? See, I have one row shaded, so that's 10, plus I have six more on this line. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 10 and six is 16. So I'm gonna write the decimal 0 0.16. Now on this next one, you tell me what the decimal is. So look at this decimal and pause the video and see if you can guess what, how I would write that as a decimal. If you said this is one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and then one extra one here, so that's 0 0.61. So that's 61 hundredths, or zero and 61 hundredths. <clears throat> when I say the decimal, I say and, like you say, I have a dollar and 61 cents. When you see decimal, you say the word and for math. So now we have a hundredths and I have one hundredth here. That's a hundredth. And if you look, six rows is six tenths, six rods. So that's why it goes where the dimes would be because that would be six rods or six dimes and then one penny. Now on this next one, I'm going to write the decimal and I want you to tell me where, how many I would need to fill in. How many hundredths? If you had said you need to fill in five rods or 50 hundredths, you would be correct. Oops, Fifth, five tenths is 50 hundredths. They are equal. Because if I have 50 one hundredths, that's gonna be five rods. So that's five tenths, or I could say they are equivalent fractions. 50 one hundredths times to the 10 to the top times 10 to the bottom. So 50 hundredths and 5 tenths equals the same thing. We're going to work more on equivalent decimals another day. So on the last two, you can make up an example of your own. If you were to make a decimal or draw a decimal and think about how I would write it. You can also, I'm going to show you if I were to make this as a decimal, So this is my number I'm making. This isn't 112. This would be, because remember now, a flat equals a whole. So this would be one whole and one tenth, two hundredths. So I say this together. I say everything before the decimal together, one. Then I say the word and. Then I say everything behind the decimal together. So this number together is 12. So one and 12 hundredths. And I always say, what is the last place? And that is hundredths. We only go to hundredths in fourth grade. So let's try another one. Let's say I have All right, so I'm going to put these together. That's one whole, two whole, three decimal. And then I have two rods and three hundredths. So I say three and 23 hundredths. Now, this time I'm going to write the decimal. And you think about what I would need to do to make this decimal. Let's make it four and five tenths. All right, so if you were gonna make this decimal, you would need four flats for your four holes and then five rods for five tenths. Let's try one more. This time, let's make this number. All right, don't get tricked up. On this one, you still need four holes, but instead of five rods, for tenths, you need five hundredths. So you need five of the smaller pieces because this is four and five hundredths. This is the hundredths place. So now in your notebook, I want you to draw an example of one of the tenths and one of the hundredths. So draw one of these and one of these. And then we're going to 
draw our place value chart. So just like we did the beginning of the year, you have ones, tens, hundreds. Everything to the left stays the same. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, that's the same. We're going to add behind a decimal. I'm going to put the word and so we know to say the word and. Right behind the decimal is where the dimes go, and we call these tenths because it's one tenth or point one, and that is one rod. And then behind the tenths is hundredths, and we say that's one out of a hundred, point zero one, like one penny. We're going to draw a unit. And you can put um, up here to help you remember penny dimes. That's where your dimes go and that's where your pennies go. So I hope this helps you learn about decimals. And we're going to practice some more on the next part. You're going to have a practice page to do.